Hi there, it's Julie Kinnear of the Julie Kinnear team, and I'm standing right in front of 467 Dovercourt Avenue in the beautiful Dufferin Grove neighborhood. These homes were beautifully built, big, huge. This is a gorgeous, extra wide Victorian. I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, here we go, you get a nice large front porch. Now the bonus of this neighborhood, of course, is it's totally walking. It's got its walking score of 96 out of 100. Uh, literally public transit, libraries, uh, Dufferin Grove Park, of course, which is the famous uh, community that everybody sort of gathers around all year long. They've got the farmer's market and they've got all kinds of major bonuses. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. So here we are in the in the inside and you can see right away it's got this incredible natural light. It really does. It's got the beautiful bay windows. That's the original stained glass. And I think it's a combination of the way they've opened it up it's got a really natural flow to it and uh, and of course these incredible ceilings so beautiful oak strip hardwood floors that were refurbished a lot has been redone in this home so everything from the mechanics of forced air gas furnace to the wiring to the windows even this roaring wood fireplace that's a real rarity in this well in even in Toronto in general I love the ceiling medallions some of this plaster molding was redone by David Weenan Architects uh, and so it's a really, it's a great sort of classic sort of feel to it. Uh, and then lots of modern sort of amenities. Great for entertaining, of course, with this whole open sort of living room and dining room. And lots of room for uh, displaying your art on the walls. You could have a huge dining table and uh, family and friends can gather. I love the, the way they've located, uh, this is the back sort of hall. If you saw from this, the front door and they put in this powder room here. So they reconfigured the whole back area of the house and it's made a big difference because uh, it's great to have a powder room for guests and it's also nice that it's sort of hidden and secluded away. They put these uh, these French doors in uh, which sort of can cut off or can shut off the kitchen if you like but also allow lots of natural light in. Of course, it's each of these rooms, these principal rooms are incredible not just the ceiling height, but just the, the elbow room, the, the proportions are incredible. So one of the bonuses they put in a, in a sort of front hall, back hall closet. They put in this nice big pantry. Bonus, love this. If you're a cook, this is a fantastic kitchen for you. It's got this whole serving prep area or eat-in area. If you've got kids, it's very convenient for high chairs or, you know, lots of mess of kids. And it's got the five, uh, five gas cooktop, nice stainless steel appliances. This, this kitchen was done in about 12 years ago, but these are a brand new um, wall oven and range hood. And the bonus of a wall oven, of course, is that you're not reaching down to get the uh, roast out or the turkey. That's a nice feature. So you, I'm gonna show you the backyard. It's 132 feet deep. It's a beautiful English garden. It's fully fenced, so that makes it great for kids or child's play. And you can see this sort of natural flow and all the light and uh, so it's got a separate entrance I'll take you down to the basement first the separate entrance is sort of nice if you were to finish this ba basement and lower level it's a uh, it's a sort of convenient they would have a separate area to go in or what have you in-laws nannies children teenagers grown children if they're living with you who knows so here we are in the lower level one of the ways that you can tell of a quality built Victorian is really the ceiling height and the and the finishedness or the size of the basement. So this is a full uh, basement, and uh, which again, you can tell when it was originally built, like 120 years ago, it would have been very good quality. So here we are. This is like a workroom. You can do as you please. If you refinish this whole area, there's a nice brick foundation. Uh, there's lots of space. One of the other bonuses is they put in the central back. So lots of modern conveniences, including a central vac, upstairs laundry, that kind of thing. This is a, a 2014 forced air gas furnace. There's uh, central air to go along with that. So some of these older Victorians would have had a hot water rad system, but they revised all that. And uh, they, I'm going to show you quickly, if you can see in my video, that's a, that's a one-piece bathroom. You could easily change it, though. And you can see here, all the windows have been changed. So those are thermopane windows. Um, and lots of storage. That's sort of a nice thing, you know, in a lot of these old homes there is not enough storage. Well, there's plenty here. And so I just want to show you the backyard when we're in the video. 
Oh, as a reminder, I did do another video of the second and third floor. So in total, this is a uh, three bedroom, two bath, plus that one in the basement. Um, and the second and third floor is pretty gorgeous, so you must see that video as well. I love how they opened up this window to really incorporate the back. Another bonus that you can tell of this uh, era of quality home is that it's all brick. For Victorian, that's pretty rare. I'm gonna show you that there's the side. They actually keep their garbage back there, which is sort of a nice hidden area. It's also easy access to the front to the back. And I love, these guys are real green thumbs. They've, they've sort of created these magical sort of sitting areas and places to relax and read or dine al fresco or what have you. There's a real potter's shed here. Lots of space to store all your tools. And again, it's fully fenced, so if you've got children or uh, dogs, it's kind of a nice bonus. This, there's uh, a pump system that goes with this pond, which is kind of neat. And again, really deep, so lots of space for fun and gardens and it's got a really magical feel. If you go on our website, there's lots of uh, pictures from the different times of year. So I hope you enjoyed the tour. Real beautiful, beautiful opportunity here in Dufferin Grove.